Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. My name is Bob Lennon, President of Thermalwood Canada and host for the show. And today, our special guest, a really special guest, J.P. LeBlanc. How you doing, J.P.? Awesome. Awesome. Do I need the mic? No, no. You oh, don't. okay. I just, <laughs> I seen you have a mic. I figured, you know, just a reflex, a musician yeah, reflex. Musician's reflex. Yeah. So, J.P., you've been on the show a few times already, but today it's a little bit special for Thermwood Canada. And the special part about it is we're sitting inside the shop. We got a pile of guitar necks behind us, and you're uh, kind of holding in your hand right now a brand new Telecaster that uh, we got uh, Fender to build that for us with all our wood. So uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about you've been playing it now for, you know, about an hour or so and trying different things. And, and so what do you got to say about the guitar? It's a beautiful guitar. Um, coming from here uh and then finishing to this beautiful quality uh finished product is just amazing and uh you know it's the top of the line it's the best of the best you know uh the keys every like i was telling you um earlier is like there's so many little details that you can't just pick one it's like okay the frets on it uh, the fret work on it the playability the tone and you add them all together and then you get that Thermal wood Telecaster, yeah, right there. Exactly, that's just classic. Cool. Awesome. I mean, I, what a story for Bathurst too to have that. You know, well, well, it is. You know, I invited you over here. You know, you're from Bathurst, and and we talked about this guitar at one of the interviews that uh, that we had, or maybe two of them. And uh, I told you, you know, when it came in, I wanted you to to play it. Yep. You're from here. You're playing the blues. You're playing on a guitar. The wood is treated here, and every piece of wood on that guitar with a curly maple neck, and that's a master grade. The uh, The body is curly maple on the top, and the back side is poplar. And the poplar that was cut on a uh, on land up in Lorne, and uh, Clayton Carrier's that's his tree and log that he cut down, and then all the way through the process to here to get treated and to California to get built. And so the reason why you were here today is to play this in front of the guys that they get a chance to treat this, but they never see the finished product. Yep. No, it sounds great. You want to yeah. hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. And especially for the blues. I mean, blues, you got the Fender Stratocasters and you get the Tellies, which was uh, popularized by Albert Collins. Johnny Lang had a Telecaster and I had a, I did, it wasn't, it was a Fender, it was a Squire Telecaster, my second guitar. And okay. I love that guitar. But this one's. This one's pretty smooth. So it's just, that, like I said, it's every little detail. So I'm on a, the bridge pickup here, so you get that twang sound. Yep. Flip it over the lipstick, famous lipstick pickups. I mean, they're, get the fatter tone. Very swampy, bluesy yeah. sound coming from there. Yeah. yeah. I could play his uh play this all night. <laughs> you be... know you got work to do, right? <laughs> yeah. But here I'm gonna ask you a question because this to me is is uh, I think is pretty important for anybody that's listening to this, is that the fingerboard that's there, yeah. this is a product that we uh developed and created here in New Brunswick. It was developed by a couple of scientists down in Fredericton. Uh, perfected by them. Then the equipment was designed by CCNB Nov here in Bathurst, was built. And this is uh, what we call obsidian. And in this particular case, it's an obsidian blue. We do obsidian ebony. We do obsidian maple. We do obsidian a bunch of different ones. But the fingerboard itself, what it is, it's the, a thermally modified maple that's been infused with a, a combination of a different resins and then cured in place. And the reason why we did that is that we're listening to the voice of the customer and they were telling us that ebony was getting harder and harder to get. And was there any way that, you know, they could find something that was an alternative to it? And so this is what we came up with. So is there any different feel? You've played a number of different guitars. Do you feel anything different or can you feel what, what difference does this bring to the guitar? The playability is definitely, uh, on a very high level, uh, it's better than 
you know, even my guitar that it's a, and I play an old Fender Strat, which I'm so used to that one. But this one, um, yeah, the, the feel and the smoothness of the frets are uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. So I, I just look at the overall playability. How, do, how does it feel? You do, when you're doing the bends, smoothness of it and transferring to fret, fret, you know. You know, and the frets are all true. I mean, when you play that A chord, it does sound like a, a true A. Like a true yeah, and this is really good sustain. And there's some interesting little touches in there too, like the inlay of fender on the headstock. That was a piece of the fingerboard that they actually cut off and they cut out the letters on a CNC machine and then inlaid it into the neck. Nice. Yeah, it's the first time I see a, well, it's the first time I see a Fender Telecaster custom shop and you, and you don't have to put Telecaster in there to tell the world it's a Telecaster, yeah. right? You just know. Well, you know, JP, again, I appreciate the fact that you're in here today, that you came in and played for the guys and give them a little mid-afternoon break here so they could listen to some blues. And uh, one of our employees, we didn't even tell him you were coming. And he had he had talked to me when the guitar came in last week and said, oh, my God, he said, I'd like to see JP play this. So it was good that you came in. And we didn't tell him. When you played your first chords in here, that's when he came across and and uh, from the back room, and it was it was good to see. So yeah. again, JP, Amen. appreciate it, and uh, I wish you the best. So you you were telling me you're pretty well booked up uh, this summer with places all over the, yeah, the country. Summer, I'm playing uh, <laughs> here, and I know we're playing at the, the our big show is the Festival of Kazian Karakip. So that's the 13th of August, and I'm doing some shows as well in Tivashi. For uh, at the Centre Culturel de Nelly Shaw, and that's uh, late August, and we're playing uh, Nantes, the Capitol Theater in Moncton, and Fredericton as well. So yeah, we're gonna see a bit of the province and you know, Quebec this summer. So it's good, good to be back on the road. Well, good. So people will get a chance to see you again. Good luck with your new career. Uh, I see a lot of your stuff on on uh, on video and stuff that you're putting out there, and and. Uh, uh, congratulations, by the way, you know, because this has been a dream of yours for a long, long time. You took a break and then uh, COVID was a pivoting point. Pivot. What a word. New word from 2020. But it was a pivoting point for you to look at getting back into this again. So congratulations. And, and again, thank you very much for coming in and trying it. And uh, why don't we finish this off by you just playing a little bit and then uh, we'll uh, let you take it away from there. And there we are. With another edition of Northern Heat for this week, the place you come to and listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet. You hear that? I could keep going. Oh, yeah, exactly. I could keep on listening to it all day, too. I'm going to end it there. There. Uh, Thank you. Cool, man. Hey, it's an honor for me to try it out, and uh, thanks for the invite. I'm going to remember this. Well, uh, you'll get to play it again. Yeah, yeah we'll meet again. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet, meet again. again. We'll yeah. meet again. <laughs>